people think of Ontario, they think of the airport and they think of the Ontario Mills Mall. But there is so much more to Ontario. It's a working class Latino community. Um, we have a, a, a assortment of Mexican restaurants here in town that are second to none. Speaking of eating, people love to stop by Logan's Candies, which has been around since 1930, and watch the magic. We are a handmade candy store. We make all our candy here fresh. We carry over 600 different items here. What we're kind of most known for are our candy canes and ribbon candy, uh, although we do sell more chocolate. But we do candy canes at Christmas time. We do uh, bunny shaped candy canes for Easter, heart shaped for Valentine's Day, all the holidays, red, white, and blue for 4th of July. And then ribbon candy we do all year long. Ontario is also a transit hub. We have the two rail lines that, that come through the city along with the three freeways and the airports. Ontario International Airport is considered the main regional airport for the Inland Empire. It switched to local ownership back in 2016 and just celebrated its 30 millionth passenger since that change. This is one of the fastest growing airports in the country, but I think it's the second fastest growing airport for outgoing cargo. We are the gateway for the United States from around the world for UPS, for FedEx, for Amazon, and soon DHL as well. So we have this really dynamic balance of trying to make sure that we are a great experience for all of our passengers, but also recognizing the role that cargo and, and, uh, and business and commerce plays in the airport. Ontario is growing in many ways and residents are noticing. I've lived here all my life and so I've seen a lot of changes, seen a lot of changes downtown here and uh, it's definitely, like I said, it gives that small community feeling and, uh, and they're, they keep improving, you know, as time goes on. There's a rebirth happening in the downtown area and there's a huge entertainment complex in the works. As the city breaks ground on a regional entertainment district uh, later on this year, it will be unparalleled. And now uh, we have broken ground on the Grand Park, which ultimately is a 340 acre regional park for the entire city. Um, and the first 120 acres, uh, we're doing the demo for it right now. Ontario has a lot to look forward to. You know, Ontario equals progress. And you're seeing that play out throughout uh, these next, the last 10 years, and certainly into the next 25. They had me at the Mexican food. I know, I was going to oh, say it looks so, so good. good.